Here's what's making news this Wednesday. A fiery semi crash on the interstate kills one person and shuts down the highway. And Joe Biden and president, uh, the president spar on vaccines and the economy. This is News 3 Now at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 on this Wednesday afternoon. A good day to curl up with a book. Dana Fulton is over in the Weather Center. <laughs> yes. A little dreary out there. A little dreary outside. I like the rain and the cloud coverage. It feels a little like Pacific Northwesty outside today, and it is certainly unseasonably cool. As we look at our Doppler track, we have a lot of rain, mainly northwest of us, stretching uh, from La Crosse all the way up through the Green Bay area. But we're going to continue to see these showers pass through, even though some of that rain not getting picked up on our radar, where it's really light and misty outside. Uh, you'll notice that as we look at our Edgewater Sky Cam. A little foggy, visibility reduced quite a bit, and temperature-wise, we are in the low 50s. A bit of a breeze also coming from the northeast, about 15 miles per hour. Now, yesterday, we only hit 54 degrees, okay, breaking the record low high temperature. Today, we're only expected to climb to about 53 degrees. Our record low high also 57. So likely looking at another afternoon where we're just not quite making the cut with our high temperatures. But thankfully, we'll be seeing back to uh, more seasonable weather in just a little bit, Mark. So we'll look at that 10 day here soon. 1917. It's been there for a while. It's been a while. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. One person is dead, another injured after a crash between two semi trucks on I 3990 near Edgerton early this morning. The Wisconsin State Patrol says a semi driving southbound on I 3990 drove through the concrete medium, colliding with a semi driving northbound. That second semi was engulfed in flames after the crash. One driver died in the crash and the other was taken to the hospital. Both directions of the interstate were closed for several hours. Officials with Public Health Madison and Dane County are warning people who live or work in the downtown area to monitor themselves for coronavirus symptoms due to a large concentration of new COVID-19 cases in the area. In a tweet this morning, health officials said anyone who lives or works in the area should assume they've been exposed to COVID-19. Health officials also suggesting that people who frequently shop in the area should choose lower risk options like delivery, curbside pickup and takeout. Dr. Anthony Fauci says AstraZeneca's suspension of its COVID-19 vaccine study shows one of the safety valves built into the research to spot any potential problems. AstraZeneca put on hold its late stage studies in the U.S. and other countries while it investigates if a British volunteer's potentially unexplained illness is related to vaccinations or coincidence. The director of the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, told a Senate hearing this morning that a hold on the clinical trial is not unprecedented and has happens with large-scale trials. This certainly happens in any large-scale trial where you have tens of thousands of people invested in taking part and some of them may get ill and you always have to try to figure out is that because of the vaccine or were they going to get that illness anyway? And with an abundance University of Wisconsin Health is involved in AstraZeneca study and is awaiting word when that study is to resume. Former Vice President Joe Biden will unveil a new manufacturing proposal today designed to get jobs back in America. While jobs in the economy remain one of the most important issues for many voters, the candidates also continue to, to debate a timeline for a coronavirus vaccine. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden is in Michigan today, promising to bring jobs back to America. This president is on track to be the only president in modern history to end up with fewer jobs at the end of his term than existed in America when he began his term. His new manufacturing proposal includes a 10% Made in America tax credit for companies that bring overseas jobs back to the U.S. or increase domestic production. We're going to make sure that any time American government spends American tax dollars, we're going to spend them in America with American companies and suppliers supporting, supporting American workers. But President Trump says he's the champion of American workers, not Biden. Joe Biden's agenda is made in China. My agenda is made in the USA. President Trump says the economy was going strong until the pandemic hit, and he blames Democratic governors for keeping some states closed. On November 4th, every one of those states will be open. They're doing it for political reasons. No, they're doing it for political reasons. The president also says Democrats don't want to see a coronavirus vaccine. The Biden-Harris effort to spread anti-vaccine conspiracy theories 
only because they know we are close to putting it out, getting it out, and we're going to get it out fast. If I could get a vaccine tomorrow, I'd do it. If it cost me the election, I'd do it. We need a vaccine. Now. While AstraZeneca has put its vaccine trial on hold, Pfizer announced it may be ready for regulatory review as early as next month. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And Pfizer says if it receives regulatory approval, it plans to supply up to 100 million doses of the vaccine worldwide by the end of the year and approximately 1.3 billion doses by the end of 2021. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the Senate will hold a procedural vote tomorrow on the GOP-targeted coronavirus relief package. He made the announcement during a speech this morning on the Senate floor. The bill lacks Democratic support because Democrats want to see a much larger relief package. It also is unlikely to get support from the entire GOP Senate conference. Record-setting wildfires are spreading up and down the West Coast, fueled by powerful gusts of hot, dry wind that are expected to pick up today. More than 14,000 firefighters are on the lines. California's fires from the Sierra Nevada to the San Francisco Bay region and south to San Diego County. Three firefighters were injured when a big fire near Big Sur overran their position. Firefighters that were uh, that deployed fire shelters uh, last night in that area, and so when you deploy a fire shelter, that's kind of a uh, last. Uh chance for survival. So you take the fire shelter out of your pack and you crawl into it. In Oregon, a sheriff's department video shows a dramatic video of an explosion as four large fires continue to devastate the area. Oregon's governor declared a wildfire emergency and thousands have been told to leave their homes. There's more to come on News Now at noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. If you're always trying to disguise your veggies so your gang will eat them, then you're going to love what we're whipping up today. You're going to love it. What if I told you that hiring Bowler and Vaughn after an injury is free and we don't get paid unless you do? Really? Is that true? It is true. Your first call is free and we don't get paid until you do. Seriously injured? Call Bowler and Vaughn. You know your gutters are full of gunk, and you know you need to deal with it eventually. With LeafGuard, you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how LeafGuard's patented design channels rainwater into your gutters while leaves, seeds, and other debris just roll off, leaving them clog-free, guaranteed. We looked at several different types of gutters, and we knew that we had problems with leaves. We have lots of trees around our house and I'm the one who goes and cleans out the gutters and uh, I wanted to eliminate that hassle in the fall of cleaning the gutters and LeafGuard has done a wonderful job. Love to hear that. Right now your LeafGuard brand gutter system comes with some great money-saving extras. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, get free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. I'm all in for my husband who's fighting colon cancer. For saving lives. For healthcare providers like my wife. I'm all in for all of us. It's the things we do that make us who we are. Join us. It's no secret, Robertson is Wisconsin's aesthetic leader. But with results this natural, patients can keep it a secret if they want. Our secret to reducing stubborn body fat? Cool sculpting. Book a free consultation to learn how cool sculpting is different at Robertson. Families are reeling right now, enduring illness, losing their employer's plans and droves. They need lifelines now. My plan lowers health care costs, gets us universal coverage quickly when Americans desperately need it. This is my promise to you. When I'm president, I will take care of your health care coverage and your family the same way I would my own. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. A1 Furniture and Mattress on Stoughton Road is now open with quality mattresses at the guaranteed best price. Try before you buy and take it home today. That's why we're A1, locally owned and operated since 1980. What if I told you sometimes nursing homes don't provide the right kind of care and it can result in abuse and neglect for your loved ones? Really? How do I find out what's going on? Call Bowler and Vaughn. We'll help you find the answers you need and deserve. Do you have people in your family who aren't veggie lovers and only eat them if you disguise them? If so, 
we have just the thing. It's a super moist quick bread that goes together like this. The first thing we do is beat together some sugar, applesauce, vegetable oil, a couple of eggs, and a splash of vanilla. Once this is mixed together, we add our dry ingredients, you know, flour, baking soda and powder, cinnamon and salt. Now for the part where we get a little sneaky, we stir in some shredded zucchini and dried cranberries. We spoon this into a loaf pan and pop it into the oven until it passes the toothpick test. And with the abundance of zucchini in the market right now, this is a great way to use it up. See, I told you it was easy. Once it cools slightly, it's ready to cut and enjoy as is, or you can slather on some cream cheese to make it even more irresistible. So here's what I suggest. Head over to our website and type in super moist zucchini bread so you can have the recipe lickety split. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a veggie packed way for you to say, ooh, it's mm. so good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Some rain still in today's forecast, and there's a chance for more rain in the next few days as well. Dana Fulton is up with her forecast next. Dutch Boy Duraclean Interior Paint from Menards is a paint and primer in one with a beautiful look that stays clean. Right now, all Dutch Boy paint is 11% off. All outdoor lighting is 11% off. Add security through the night with this Halo 5400 Lumen Dusk to Dawn LED Area Light. Right now, it's 11% off. Save with 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I was sworn into the United States Senate in a hospital. My wife and daughter had been killed in an automobile crash. And lying in the bed were my two little boys. I couldn't have imagined what it would have been like if I didn't have insurance to cover them immediately and fully. Forty years later, one of those little boys, my son Bo, was diagnosed with terminal cancer, given months to live. I can't fathom what would have happened if the insurance companies had the power to say, last few months, you're on your own. The fact of the matter is, health care is personal to me. Obamacare is personal to me. When I see the president of the United States try to eliminate this health care in the middle of a public health crisis, that's personal to me too. We've got to build on what we did because every American deserves affordable health care. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Lately, we've come to appreciate what home has to offer. Right now at Feldco, buy one window and you'll get one free, plus no interest for one year. That'll help keep your home and your family warm, safe, and comfortable all year long. That's something we've been providing for almost 50 years. Let Feldco get you ready for colder weather. Buy one window, get one free now. Buy one, get one free, and soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Cases of COVID-19 continue to climb on the UW-Madison campus. We're tracking the numbers and we'll have the latest on the response to the outbreak. And state election officials will be looking over a new report on voter fraud less than two months away from the election. See you Thursday. Journalist, educator, leader, mentor. News 3 Now salutes retiring editorial director Neil Heinen for his extraordinary impact on Madison and beyond. Farewell to a friend. A special FTR, Sunday morning at 1030. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Another round of mass hirings at Amazon and the top names of the year for newborns. Here's Diane King Hall with today's Money Watch Report. shrugged off news about AstraZeneca pausing late-stage trials of its COVID-19 vaccine. Investors focused instead on bargain hunting and buying some beaten-up shares after a three-day sell-off.
Amazon is going on a hiring spree, saying it plans to hire more than 30,000 additional workers. It's the online retail giant's single biggest hiring surge. The positions would be on the tech and corporate side. Amazon plans to host a virtual job fair, and the new hires would initially work remotely. The average starting salary is about $150,000. Potential fraud at J.P. Morgan Chase surrounding the government's small business stimulus program. The bank says it is investigating employees and customers for possible abuse of the Paycheck Protection Program, misuse of unemployment benefits, and other government relief efforts. The bank says it believes some employees may have committed illegal acts. And the list of 2019's most popular baby names has arrived. According to the Social Security Administration, Olivia is now the number one name for girls, beating out Emma, which held the top spot for the past five years. The name Ava came in third. For boys, Liam is the most popular name for the third year in a row, followed by Noah and Oliver. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane King-Hall. Diane, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 596 points. The NASDAQ up 357. The S&P 500 up 87. A big turnaround from the last couple of days. Let's check in now with Q106 Farm Director Pam Yonke. How are your numbers? Well, you know, we're mixed on the midday, Mark, uh, paying attention a little bit to the strength on Wall Street and whether or not any of that uh, investment interest is going to spill over to commodities. We're also keeping an eye on the weather forecast, as we've been talking about all week long. You go from the wildfires in California to snow falling in 24 hours in uh, Colorado. And here in Wisconsin, we're a little bit wet. Now, that's taken some of the relief uh, off our farmers' minds as far as topsoil moisture, but it's also deteriorated the quality of our crop. The, this week's Crop Progress Report shows 24% of our Wisconsin corn crop has already been harvested for silage. Uh, that is 22 days ahead of last year, nine days ahead of our five-year average. But 78% of our corn is rated good to excellent. That's down two percentage points in one week's time. Same situation with soybeans. 81% of our soybeans rated good to excellent, down 1% compared to last week's ratings. Potato harvest in Wisconsin keeps rolling along. About 40% of that crop has already been harvested. And folks kind of wrapping up the hay season this year. 72% of the hay that's been harvested out there rated good to excellent. But again, that's down two percentage points compared to uh, a week ago. Uh, also, our Wisconsin apple growers just reminding folks uh, they are making preparations for you to come on out to the orchard. Anna Maynard with the Wisconsin apple growers says that they've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 150 apple growers all across the state uh, that are ready for your business. And if you're uh, still a little concerned about uh, social distancing and COVID, now this year the Wisconsin Apple Grower is making a sampler available online. You can go to wisconsinapplegrowers.org or give them a call and get those apples coming your way. Congratulations to Lori Stern from Monticello. She has been named the new executive director of Moses Midwest Organic Sustainable Education Service. She's got a small farm in Monticello and will oversee seven employees. Today, barrel cheese dropped four cents to 167 and a half. 40 pound block cheese was up a half at 215 and three quarters. Double A butter today unchanged at a buck 50 per pound. So there you go. I think everybody's kind of watching to see what's going to shake out as far as this weather. I don't necessarily like what we've got right now, Mark, but boy, like I said, compared to California or uh, Colorado, I'll take it. Yes, it's not bad at all. All right, Pam, thank you. And Dan is here now with a look at that forecast. A little more rain on the way. A little more rain on the way. Also, just a little dreary outside still. Here's a live look at Platteville with our cloudy, cloudy sky from our Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam. It's also a little breezy, so we're actually talking about a bit of a, a wind chill. Feels a little cooler outside than our actual temperatures as that wind is currently whipping in from the northeast in the teens for our wind speeds right now. Anywhere from uh, about 10, 15, 20 miles an hour in that range. Our temperature trend is cool. We should not be seeing afternoon highs in the low 50s for this time of year, but we're at about 51 degrees currently in Madison, 47 in the Dells. That's close to where our overnight low should be, but that's where we're sitting at about the noon hour. And compared to this time yesterday, we're in a fairly similar spot, but just a few degrees cooler for much of the area. So plan on a chilly evening ahead. A few more afternoon rain showers passing through. The same goes overnight, so we're not quite in the clear yet for our rain. You want to keep the rain jacket or umbrella on hand. Temperatures will stay in the 50s for this afternoon. It is chilly outside. Uh, again, if it were a little later, 
later in the year. We'd kind of all be built up to this right now, but dropping this much over the last few days, it's been a little bit of a, a shock for us. Now our lower rain chances come in for the end of the week, but we're still going to see quite a bit of cloud coverage hanging out. We'll get rid of the showers, but still not getting quite back to those sunny skies for Thursday and for Friday. So this afternoon, the rain continues to pass through. Sometimes on our radar, we pick up these heavier rain showers, but even right now, we're not really seeing that rain in Madison on our radar. That's just because it's so misty outside. It's not enough that we're really picking it up coming through. So even when you're looking outside, it seems misty. Those heavier showers will be coming in later on in the day. We're cloudy when it's not raining outside. Temperatures barely moving through the afternoon and evening. Overnight, we may see a few isolated showers, but by Thursday morning, likely starting to wrap up most of that rain trend. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s early in the day on Thursday with some cloud coverage hanging out throughout the afternoon. Might get a little bit of sunshine for areas north of Dane County, but a lot of southern Wisconsin still dealing with a cloudy sky. By Friday morning, a little more clearing, and that little bit of clearing is going to help us drop more for our overnight lows. For early Friday, we'll see lows in the 40s in Dane County, and for areas north, we'll likely be dropping into the 30s. So a cool start to Friday, and then in the afternoon, the sun will start to help us warm up a little bit more. We'll finally climb out of the 50s. Tropical season still brewing away. Right now we're keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Paulette and Tropical Storm Arena are all the way out in the Atlantic right now, still moving east and it has been, or moving west, it's been a, a bit of an active season for us so far. As we look back at 2020, you can see all of the systems that have been developing. Uh, we're not quite to peak hurricane season yet. That will be tomorrow, but we do have plenty more time with that warm ocean water moving over. Now, our temperature trend again for us, overnight. Still very cool. Kind of hard to think about warm tropical water outside right now. Our temps will be in the 50s through the overnight hours with our precipitation chances continuing on through midnight and then starting to calm down a little bit as we, we head into uh, tomorrow. Breezy and rainy today. For Thursday and Friday though, we have partly sunny skies. A chance for showers late on Thursday or early, excuse me, on Thursday and then late on Friday into Saturday. We warm up a bit back to 70 by Saturday and Sunday and as we head into next week we get the sunshine back with afternoon highs in the mid to low 70s to start off the week. Overnight lows will be back in the 50s but we're in a little bit of a cool stretch today and yesterday we had highs in the 50s and we haven't had two consecutive days with high temperatures in the 50s since mid-May. It was about May 16th, 17th that we saw temperatures this cool. So it's been a little bit since we've had to uh, shake off just the light jacket. <laughs> now no need to bundle up just yet. No furnace yet. No furnace yet where I'm holding off. Yeah I'm, I am too. Good 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 because we'll be back in the 70s so uh maybe just layer up a little bit you said curl up with like a book or the cat and the dog curling yep. up a little bit throw the dog on the bed yes all right throw them in <laughs> throw them and just toss them dana thank you <laughs> the coronavirus pandemic has led to shortages of an appliance most households count on coming up we'll tell you what it is stay with us news three now first worn weather is brought to you by lazy boy home furnishings and decor Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. In the race for a vaccine, the finish line is approaching. Safety protocols in place. And the greatest economy the world has ever seen coming back to life. But Joe Biden wants to change that. I would shut it down. Why would we ever let Biden kill countless American businesses, jobs, and our economic future when President Trump's great American comeback is now underway? I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Brian from McGann Furniture in Baraboo. We know that hardworking people want the most value for their money. When you shop at McGann's, we've already sorted out and selected the brands that we feel offer you the most bang for your buck. From young couples just starting out to people my age, we offer a huge selection at prices that will fit your budget. Plus, most purchases include free delivery and setup. Shop McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo. You'll be glad you did. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to deal with your messy gutters anymore? Leave that nasty chore in the rear view mirror with a new Leaf Guard gutter system. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. My team would love to show you how Leaf Guard's patented design keeps leaves and debris out so you can give up cleaning your gutters forever. And now is the best time to get Leaf Guard. Order now and save 75% on installation labor, free financing for a year, and a $100 Visa gift card. Call to set up your free estimate today. My mom was a bank teller, but her hands were so crippled by arthritis she could no longer do her job. 
She applied for Social Security disability benefits. Like most people, my mom was denied. I'm attorney Don Becker. Don't be embarrassed and don't give up. My mom appealed, you can too. Disability law is all we do. Call the Becker Law Office, 1-800-254-7766. For our seniors, Social Security is a sacred obligation, a sacred promise made. The current president is threatening to break that promise. He's proposing to eliminate a tax that pays for almost half the Social Security without any way of making up for that lost revenue. I will not let that happen. If I'm your president, we're going to protect Social Security and Medicare. You have my word. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Well, the pandemic has led to shortages of everything from toilet paper to lumber, even coins. But now people are having trouble getting their hands on appliances. Tom Hansen explains. Keith's Appliances in Connecticut has seen sales go up 60% this summer, and it's not just local customers. We probably get about 20 calls a day from all over the country, people looking for freezers, and this has been happening since the beginning of March. When the pandemic hit, Americans started stocking up on food and needed freezers to hold it. Then demand grew for refrigerators and washers and dryers as more people upgraded their appliances. At the same time, the coronavirus forced many factories to shut down or scale back production, leading to shortages. Jill Johnson needs to replace a broken fridge and was told the wait for some models could be months. I was very limited as to what I could buy because they don't have it in stock. Getting an older appliance fixed isn't easy either. People are home, you know, they're using their washing machines more. Repair specialist Robert Viatoro is working 12-hour days, seven days a week, to try and accommodate all his customers. Right now, we're booked three to four days in advance. So, you know, we're having to turn people down. Air conditioner service companies are also seeing a boost in business. With people staying home, AC units are getting heavy use and breaking down more. The telephone is directly connected to the thermometer. When it gets hot, the phone rings like crazy. The demand for AC repair will go down as the temperatures drop, and experts believe appliance shortages should start easing this fall as factories get back up to full speed. Tom Hansen, CBS News, New York. Interesting. No shortage of rain in the forecast. No shortage of rain at all. We're going to continue to have these light showers through the afternoon and evening. Temperatures about 51 right now. We might get up to 53 this afternoon. For Thursday, cloudy skies with temperatures close to 60. And we'll be back to a dry 70 degree trend as we head to Sunday next week. Next week. So it's a lot, lot better. A lot drier, yes. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 4. In the meantime, have yourselves a great afternoon.